Welcome to the Monday, August the 5th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and members introduce themselves. I'm Audra Brown, staff. Stephen Everett. Hannah Smith. Benjamin Cheney. For anybody who's not been here before, we are an advisory committee to the Development Review Board. We will listen to each of the applications and move them forward. And do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, raise your hand. Agenda is approved. And unless anybody has anything else to add before we get started with the applications, we can go to the first application for 5 Cliff Street. Mary Hendes, regarding your fence, grab your application. Mm -hmm. By the way, you're doing a nice job on that property. Oh, thank you. It's looking good. Thanks. This is a fence just around the parking area. Uh, so the building is enrolled in a program for the Vermont Housing Conservation Board. So one of the things we've been doing is just assessing some safety issues. So as part of the safety assessment, it was determined that it would be helpful for the safety and the insurance company to have a simple broad iron fence on three sides of the parking space there's just one parking space up there um, across from Frank's place but so the pictures kind of show the parking space with the vehicle without a vehicle and then it's then one shot of the photograph shows just the house as you're walking up the cliff um, that's from street level so that you won't change. So Springfield Fence Company is um, getting contracted to install it. It's just a one-day job. Um, it's just a black wrought iron fence, three rail style, flush bottom, four feet on the exit. There's just concrete parking curves around the fence, around the parking spot right now. The, the red line is where the fence will be. Yeah. Yeah, to prevent people from going off the cliff. Right now, any kid could walk up there and die. Are there steps here that go down to yep. the lower level? Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Yeah, that's where the, the ground floor apartment is. Yeah, nothing will be done to that point. There does need to be a baluster on that side, but I, I haven't done that yet. Um, so How many steps down is it? It's like three. It's like two and a half, three. Three plus the landing? Yeah, probably. The only reason I ask is that when the fence company comes and they do this three-sided, there'll be a post here on the corner. And you could add a bracket down below and have them add a single rail going yeah, down. Yeah, Which I would know. be probably wouldn't be that much yeah, more expense. Yeah, I know. That is a good idea. I know. I did talk to Middlebury Fence Company, too, actually, and they did offer to put that in, but they just haven't been, they just have not called back. They just haven't been able to actually handle the job, and they weren't able to provide the architectural details that you mm -hmm. guys asked for, so Springfield was the only place that was able to okay. provide the actual, where it was, I think Middlebury was just going to give me something in stock, Yeah. but I wanted to at least be sure what the product was going to be. So, yeah, they're going to Springfield's going to come up on site this week, so I can ask them about that. Ask them again. All it means is attaching a bracket to the top post of, post. of the exist of the fence they're going to put in. Yeah. Attaching a bracket there, and then one down below to whatever that is concrete or wood material. Concrete. And then they can attach a bracket down below, and then with a single rail, that's all it's you need. I know that is exactly all I need. Honestly, I fall down those steps. I hate it. Well, it's especially nice in the winter to it have is. a third point of contact. It is. It definitely is. Yeah. Okay. Have that as an option? I mean, sure. I mean, you know, yeah, that's... sure. Yeah. If, if, if you want to add, if it's not too much of a big deal or whatever. No, that's no, not a big no, deal no, at no, all. It. 
so that's about it. There's only one vehicle that is allowed to park there. There's only one tenant, so it mm -hmm. only goes with one apartment. The other tenants aren't allowed to park up there. Um, you can't squeeze two vehicles in there. Looks like the retaining wall is different elevations, uh, like around the forest side. Is there? A, it's oh, it, there's a step down on the third yes. rail. Yeah, and so that rail turns and step down. Yeah, a little bit on that on the third side. Yeah, yeah. they'll have to do something. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they'll have. It may just be that that's a little shorter. It may just be that it's like a. It'll still be it's still plenty be, high above yeah, the stand. But yeah. Just yeah. Funny. Right. Just right. You'll see the job. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll have to cut the trees back up there a little bit to access. I just said a handrail could be added to the proposed fence structure and the concrete retaining wall adjacent to the steps alongside the building to provide a safer access to the steps. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, thank you. It doesn't mean you have to do it tonight. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, that's excellent. Thank you. Is there any lighting in the corner there uh, by the steps? Not right now. There's only lighting at the very front of the The front of the building mm -hmm. has uh, lights underneath the over underneath the overhang. Would you ever consider adding, and again, you're not required to by any, I'm just thinking while you have an application here for this area, if you wanted to add a, you know, like a motion detector light, if somebody's parked and they're going down the steps for any reason, yeah, the light, light would just come on? Yeah, sure, it's a good idea. Just so you yeah. come back. And yeah, no, if you want to add that to, yeah, lighting is always helpful for sure. Yeah, I appreciate it. How many units is that building? Five. Okay. This one is the ground floor, yep. and then there's four, um, um, two on each side of the face. And again, it's added as an option. It Great. just gives you two years Great. out yeah. to add something if you wanted, but a motion detector light that yeah. shines on the stairs, it just sort of a down light sweeps the entry to the stairs and the stairs is great. just really handy yeah, if it it's is. dark at 3.30 in December. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, which it is, yeah. Any questions, comments about the fencing, railing? Lighting. Okay, I'll, do you have any other questions? No, okay, you. I'll read down through the criteria. Sure. Number one, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, none proposed in this application. 
prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, probably not applicable at this location. All in favor of the application as proposed, raise your hand. And you can sign that above my name on the lower left there. Thank you very much Thank and you. good luck. That's a nice looking fence. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Next application is for three Pitkin Court Blueberry Associates. Claudia Pringles. And describe your signs for us. Um, well, it's just a sign for my office space. Law Office of Claudia Pringles, PLC, Estate Planning. Green. Kind of a light yellow color. sides of the building, right? Yeah. And yeah, the bigger one will be the same as the hair salon, Missouri. And then on the side will be equivalent to the ones that are already there as well. Is the sign out of wood or sign foam or? I think know? it's going to be wood, but it's, okay. I don't think it's raised. If it is wood, you may think or have asked John to about some kind of banding around the perimeter to protect the edges because yeah. of the weather between the sun, afternoon sun and rain and snow, if it's wood, sometimes, I mean, unless you're going to climb up there and coat it every year, sometimes oh, the okay. edges start to come apart. Yeah, I know there's going to be a side to it. I'm not sure what that material would I be. I mean, it looks like there's something here, but it looks like if, if you band it with something, then yeah. you give it a little more water resistance. If okay. it is, is wood, again, it, that doesn't change the just lettering or design or anything. It's mm -hmm. just protection so you don't have to keep maintaining it for yeah, a couple of years. Comments, questions about the sign? Looks good. Looks nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's it. And okay. I have to run through the criteria okay. for okay. <laughs> design review standards for signs. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility approach to exterior materials, acceptable. Wood or sign foam, which is what he usually uses one okay. or the other. Mm -hmm. Compatibility of proposed la landscaping, none proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, schemes or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. No lighting for the sign? There is a light that's already there. It's already there, yeah. so no changes in that? No. Okay. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, uh, acceptable in this location. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CB2 and OP districts, but this is not either district. <laughs> Illumination, no change, not applicable here. It's not internally lit. 
pennants and banners not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. This sign is acceptable at this location with the other similar signs. All in favor of the application, raise your hand. And you can sign that one just above my name on the left side there. Okay. You have a pen? Yeah. Okay, thanks. As an attorney, you should read the whole name. I'm sorry? I need to make to fix that one. Oh. So it doesn't say OP. Oh. <laughs> I'm just reading it. Yeah. Okay. All set? That's it. Good okay. luck. All right, thank you. Next application is 429 College Street. Keith Shoemaker. These are things you brought into me today. Okay. Sorry. Paper. Describe your application. Well, we're really talking about uh, renovating the existing house. For terms of this meeting, I think what we're talking about is just one exterior door that we'd like to add. Okay. And it's drawn in the plan. It's on the porch. Uh, and I think there's lots of photographs of there's some photographs of the uh, the existing front door that we'd like to mimic. It's right here. It's right. Is that the front door? That's the existing, and yes. Okay. And then this is the porch door. That's that's the that's storm door for the, so for the front door. There. Okay. So those are the those are the types of doors that we'd like to mimic in the new location. And the new location is described in this plan. Uh, on, it's, it's off the porch here. The blue, you can, you, the blue porch. You can see a little in swing. Yeah. Okay, right, right yeah, here. Right there. Yeah. The first what? part of the original application had adding a new stairway, mm -hmm. but that's been taken out. Okay. Was the stairway an exterior stairway or? Correct. Yeah, what it's been for? Uh, Was that for like an egress? Correct. Okay. And this one will be, will this give you interior egress that you're looking for or? It, it'll give an interior egress uh, to the, from the first floor apartment to the porch, which it wouldn't have had in the past. Okay. Without it, wouldn't have had it. Are you turning this into upstairs and downstairs apartments? Yes. Okay. Do you want that stairs? So the pre previous. Well, the, the, we, the, the stairs would be nice to have as an option if we if we really needed it. If the door was a problem, this, we would be willing to do stairs. But the stairs were a problem because of snow uh, removal and moving snow around that the, the proposed driveway. Mm -hmm. The stairway would be kind of out in the, sort of in the way of what where the snow might like to go. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd be better off with the door on the porch. Okay. So the upstairs has, this is ground floor egress here. The second floor has egress through the stairs, yes. through the other door. Yep. And then there's egress for the back of the first floor here? Yes, to the Crowley Center, yes. And is there a second means of egress from the second floor? Yes, it's out of, well, it's a escape window onto the porch. Onto the porch, okay. No, that's fine. I was yeah. just curious. Yeah. Yeah. If you're ever thinking of doing stairs, and there's obviously snow is an issue for stairs, uh, but they make a metal tread 
we're familiar oh. with that system. That <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> that works very well, as I'm sure the uh, Mr. Steele here knows. <laughs> <laughs> they have a very nice drawing of case on this one that shows those treads. Yes. The only problem with those treads is that since the embargo, the price of the steel is doubled. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It's not so much the steel that costs the money. <laughs> so the fabrication and the steel. Yeah. The plan or the, and the other materials that are in the packet, not what we just handed you, show that staircase. Just if you were curious and wanted to see it. Okay. It would, I would like to be able to know whether or not we would be have options, you know, options, if you would, I'm happy with the stairs, the exterior stairs. I think we would both, Ben and I would prefer to have the door on the porch instead no. of the exterior stairs. No, that's, that's fine. Okay. What's there now? Just a blank section of wall? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have a photo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that's. Yeah. Made sense. Okay. Made sense. No, that's. I think matching the other door is a nice feature. I agree. We have some. Um, and actually, if you use a, you know, an insulated door, either fiberglass, I'm not sure, or solid wood or whatever you're going to use with a double glass and a weather strip it nicely, you won't even need a storm door on it. Yeah, we have uh, plans that show the type of doors we'd like to. Mm -hmm. A couple of options for doors. Yes. No, those are nice. Yeah. Also adds a lot of sun. The living room to the west. Just putting in more glass there. Yes, yeah. more glazing area. I guess it's southwest. No, that's a nice area. That gets you get a lot of sun on that side of the building. The sun sort of sweeps around like right. this. Mm -hmm. The idea is to use nice leaded glass with beveled edge so that yep. you have a nice door that kind of mimics the existing door. Mm -hmm. No, that'll look really nice. Great building, beautiful building. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a good. It's got good bones. It looks like it's been really well maintained for years, as long as I can remember. The college did a good job, I'd say. Now, do you want to add any? Is there any lighting at the other front door, or do you want to add any lighting at that door? That's a good point. Well, that is a good point. I think we would. Um, I think we. Did. I think we'd want to add a sconce, maybe to the right of the door. Okay, wall-mounted sconce. Yeah. Is there one at the other door? I at believe the there's. A, is there a recess well, there's a, in the ceiling? Isn't there a light a um, ceiling? A porch light? I don't know if it's actually. It might be a pendant, I believe. Steve. Do you have any photographs? Of that one? I can't don't tell. think so. Like oh, yeah. Is it really? You can see on that. Or good. maybe it's folded with conduit. Oh, I think you might be right. I think, yep, I see it, man. It goes back. So there's yeah. two. I would, I think we'd there's prefer a, a, uh, a sconce. Maybe like, like a oop, bronze or a seal it. There's a ceiling mount, a wall mount. Oh yeah, you're right, Ben. It is a um, conduit. Yeah. yeah. Flush mount conduit. Yeah. Yep. I guess I'd rather not continue that. Yeah. yeah motif. Seems, seems like not, <laughs> not the right move. <laughs> no, no, look at it. Doesn't look very nice. But I think well, it's like a ping block or something. Yeah. So like on the wall. And depend yeah. depending where you feed it. I mean, you can go in the basement and angle up and go inside the bay and right. Good idea. Feed, feed it, or you could do an, a recess can overhead. I mean, you have a number of choices, whatever you prefer. Okay. So, yes, I think the answer is, yeah, we'd like to be able to put a light there. Yeah. And you're happy with the light at the other at the other door? Well, that light... Now that I look at it, no. maybe we should, if we're here... <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as... Now's the time know, to say we'd like to change it. I mean, whatever you whatever you feel like it, I'd like to add into this, you yeah. know, in terms of that doorway. What if we proposed uh, two matching, like, bronze sconces and removed the exposed conduit and weatherproof box? Okay. Uh, 
because I think we can access from here, from this panel, possibly. And then, right, Steve was saying, go through them. So, And with those wall-mounted doors, you can either have it on a motion detector or a timer or just a manual switch. I mean, that, that, that's your option, however you want to do that. But with a, uh, you know, a wall-mounted, we've got a, a wall mounts that are on just motion detecting. So if you open the door to leave, it goes on. Or if anybody approaches the front porch, it comes on to the light, the porch, and the access to the doorway. And on this porch here, if people are using the stairs here to come up onto the porch, even if they're going around to that other doorway, with motion detector lights here and there, as soon as you come up the stairs, it'll light this section up. And then as you go around the corner, it'll light that section up to enter. Unless any suggestions for anything other than that? And the other option, again, would be to do a ceiling fixture, but the ceiling fixture gives you a more limited spread. Or at least a recessed fixture would. Mm -hmm. But you're, you like the side mount? Side mounts are nice. I guess I do. I think I'd prefer the side mount. I'm, I'm really not opposed to, side, to uh, the wall mount sconce type lighting there. We'll just give you the option. Yeah, would you please? Because now that I look at this conduit, I wonder if it'd be easier if we just removed the conduit and then just installed like a nice surface mount. Yeah, I would appreciate that if you gave us the option. While well, you're having a lighting conversation, is the other side lit? Yeah, I believe there's a, a, a ceiling, a, like a pendant. Ceiling okay. picture. I can't remember, but I think that I think I was confusing the two. But I, mm -hmm. yes, I believe so. And we wouldn't we wouldn't touch that. And you believe you can get beveled glass in this door? So. I don't know. That's a good point. Um, I've seen them. Um, we might have to go to the Simpson catalog. Bevel, That's the third yeah. uh, We have a choice. Bevel insulated glasses available. Yeah. Just get out your wallet. <laughs> I, I, I'm concerned about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we think even that, even still, it's probably cheaper than the stairs. So, yeah. It's going to replace that. Yeah, that's a good point. It was more just curiosity. It would be cool. It would be cool. So anyway, the, the option was to either a bronze or black colored wall mount. If, again, you're just giving you options. Light fixtures may be added to the side of the existing front door and the proposed additional front door. An alternative ceiling mounted fixture of same color family may be installed instead on each door. Anything else we should add or throw in while we're at it? 
any sure. more lighting then? Yeah. In the <laughs> anywhere? Yeah, we want vertical <laughs> LED up lighting now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Okay. Is there a parking area for the building? There, there, there are two parking areas. There's, there's one on it. There's a College Street parking mm -hmm. area, and that's existing. And there's a Kemp Street, Kemp Street parking area, mm -hmm. which is proposed. Okay. Do you propose any lighting for either of those areas, either that back corner on the Kemp Street? Or is there lighting already there's a, there's a, on the back porch? There's a uh, a carport parking area in okay. the front. And I didn't think that we would be getting any lighting under there. Okay. Since it wasn't there to, you know, when we got it. Yep. Um, you know, Ben, if you think maybe adding something in the back is, is, is worth having the uh, head nod toward, I'm okay with that. Off the record. <laughs> um, wouldn't it make sense to have uh, a light here for the parking area? Well, something. Yeah. I think this area is, is okay, but possibly something here. Yeah. So if you look at the corner, the Kemp Street, um, and then the green screen by the maple trees, I think we would ask that an exterior motion detector would be installed in the corner. You could do a two-headed one. Yes. One that shines down at, at the corner from the parking area to oh, this you. pathway. Here we go. And then another one that illuminates along the side to guide you towards that back right. corner. I think that's a good idea. That makes sense. It would be basically right about here. Okay. I'm going to ask the big direction in such a way that it's like the light doesn't escape the property. Yep. Line, so it's not the I way. agree. When, um, if you find a fixture, just show it to us and we'll just Motion double check that it meets the, the, you know, the output Motion. and the downcast and whatever Got meets it. the ordinance yep. for lighting. I mean, it makes sense to have a light. It does make sense. So, yes. We will do that. Okay. There's a light in this alcove. Yeah, there is. There's two. There's one here and one here. Yeah. So we don't have to do anything else. Oh, there is one thing? I believe there's the, that's the ceiling picture I was talking about. In the oh, room. I see. Okay. okay. Good. Spot, spot down into here. Yes, Ben. If, um, right here. Yeah, I believe there's a, yep. And that's actually not really used. I think you'd use this door. Yeah, I see. Uh, that's yeah. more of like a storage, maybe recycling bins or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's been used for years. Yeah. But I believe there's a light in there. Oh, uh, yeah, one more. I just didn't see that door. Oh, uh, yep. I think this would be your yeah. the basement access and the egress. Yeah. Okay, so again, the motion detector light fixture, again, bronze or black color, can be added to the rear corner of the house on the Kemp Street side to eliminate the parking area and the rear walkway. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah, I like it. And again, with a, with a can fixture, with a, a small LED flood, It'll illuminate that area just so, again, if you're coming home in the dark, you don't have to be trying to carry a flashlight with your two bags of groceries. Yeah. That's, that's smart. Is this property line accurate? It is, actually. We were joking we are going to put a little chair on the patio of the Crowley Center. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like 
an error somewhere. It, it, yeah, it's a little odd that the uh, Meets and Bounds describes that little corner, but indeed, we own the patio, part of it, and the blueberry bushes. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm surprised that either the patio was built, obviously, after the property line was established and nobody figured that out before they built the patio. That's right. And that's what I so when they have an well, event, So when they have an event there, do you get a portion of the royalty? I, that's, that's a very good point. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't bring that up. <laughs> uh, do you recall a garage being there at one point? Is it out, wasn't there an outbuilding? There was a garage. Mm -hmm. I, I seem to recall when I was Somewhere. And there was some other outbuilding. Yep. And so when they subdivided, it's just an, it's an odd angle. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know how it worked out that way. But. I can't I'm remember sure exactly why. where it was yeah. located. Yeah. yeah. I think they just kind of moved the line around the, the carport. Mm -hmm. the carport oh, well. kind of sticks out beside the building in it. They, I guess that was the best plan at the time. Well, if there's nothing else to add, I can run through the criteria basically for the door. And again, you have the options of the lighting. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, none proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable with the optional lighting. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application with the options, raise your hand. One of you signed that one above my name on the lower left. The front, the, the front stairs, front and rear stairs going up both have railings on them? I believe they do. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I don't have any pictures of the front. We can find some photographs. Yeah, I'm sure the back has. Let me call the. Let's see what I can find here. Yeah, it looks like 42 inch standard with spindle and handrail. Okay. On the front and the rear as well? Yes. Okay, and well, that's fine. I'm just trying to think of anything you're going to between code and insurance company you're going to get hit with. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be something, but rails are all to code. Okay. Yeah. Thank Good. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Good luck seat. with your project. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great spot. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah, and And the next application is 460 Main Street. 60 Main Street Associates. Applicant Talia. 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 And you look strangely familiar. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourselves. I'm Jacqueline Rinke from Nutty Steps. Talia Stoneroff. I have a firm here in town, Stoneroff Workshop Architect. And I'm Bill Kaplan. I'm in 
this case, 60 Main Street Associates. Good. Congratulations on your new challenge. Yeah, new challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, describe the application. So we're here to uh, talk about um, this extremely exciting new proposal to, um, let's see, the things that pertain to this meeting. Um, we are doing a updated sign, which is still in design um, iterations, and then uh, outdoor seating within the um, area allowable with the six feet clear for pedestrian access. Um, some minimal planters to just provide a little bit of separation boundary there. And then um, updating the brick, most of which is already painted on the front there. Uh, and we're proposing to paint that a dark, uh, almost black color. And in the uh, application, we show examples of many, many different currently painted buildings in downtown Montpelier, and then brick buildings only, and then also um, examples of black brick, which is a really historic way, I think, to treat the brick, but it also has an updated feeling to it. Yeah, we're, we're proposing to wrap that paint around the alleyway, mm -hmm. um, and there, there are a few reasons for that. One is it, it does get vandalized currently, and it's um, difficult to clean off of a, a um, natural brick, and it's also been getting a lot of abuse from salt and some overspray, and then possibly some sandblasting that happened in terms of removal in the past. So this is a way that could protect the brick, um, make it easy to keep clean and fresh, just updating it, um, and, and help to rest restore it to have better um, weatherproofing qualities. I have to admit, it's a lot easier to cover up graffiti with a can of spray paint than it is to have <laughs> to go through right. and try to scrub it out of coarse brick. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, I think that here also on the inside, the brick has exfoliated some because it's been sandblasted in the past. And mm -hmm. so in addition to that, there's there's actually no drainage in that alleyway either. So the water just sits until the brick absorbs it. So just keeping it from that splash zone and getting it to shed a little bit more water will help. It needs, it needs something yeah. to... Maintained. So, just in the, I just need to say this in the sort of interest of, uh, I'm participating in this project, but we only have three of us here. So, as far as like, if I recuse myself or not, I don't know how we go about that. You're participating in what? You're just making. You're making the signs. Yeah. And so. Well, if you recuse, recuse yourself, and then we can't vote on it. I understand. And uh, I, I don't have any objection. I mean, just looking at the sign, there doesn't seem to be a lot of... I don't think it's a problem, but no. I just do want to... Be transparent. Treat it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Publicly put that out there. If there weren't just three of us, I was recusing myself, but being that... Uh, there was this for both signs, Rabble Rouser and Regal. So I think they're still working on the signs, but ultimately, yes, it'll be Regal and Rabble Rouser. And what what is yeah. what is Regal? Flower design? Yeah. yeah. Flower and fruit. It's going to be chocolates, flowers. Okay. So this is the as we get closer to the design, we it looks like we're going to actually do something unified between the two companies. So here's an example. Okay. I can, I can pass this around. It'll, will it all be open inside or is it being divided? We're, we're trying to do one that actually spreads across the side in a more uniform manner. Interior? No, interior. It's, it's, it's their shared space. It's it's common. Common. Okay, so it's open. It's not divided down yeah. the middle between the two. And it'll okay. be um, how they're, they're talking about one POS, so they're, mm -hmm. it, it, to the consumer, it's going to kind of all melt as one concept. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 
two separate owners of each business? Yes. You have our cut sheets for the outdoor seating and an example of the planters. Can you email me that sign? Can I email you the sign? I can. Now the sign, okay. the sign for post is this one here, just Regal and Rabble Rouser. Right. And this is. This is like yes. a complete reconception. Oh, okay. Yeah. This would be the new conception. Mm -hmm. In lieu of even having the company names, it would be those um, things. We thought it'd be more clear for locals and tourists alike to just, you know, really clarify with our sign space, like what we're providing. And this, the way that it's shown in. The, the new concept, they look blocked out, but you'd be doing the same steel letters on the wood background. It's sort of the opposite, that it would be a steel oh, with piece that, with cut, and then the cut letters out cut out. Are these? These are, these are not. from behind. Not they don't quite. have the, and I think that it's not finalized, so. Right. It's know, in rendering, which we can yeah, that's why revisit it's you in two weeks, which would be totally fine, and or yeah. email the file. Um, and if it's, you know, within... Have you thought of sticking with that and then putting these, this lettering inside the glass so that that's at eye level, but yet your company name's up top? It's, that's a, a simple way of describing the business. Right. And then, again, in, the reason is, is that you can do anything you want inside the glass. You don't have to go through any permit process. So if you, where you place it, if you want to change it, if you want to scrape one off and put something else, you can change that anytime you want inside the glass. And that can be either painted on, stickered on, or you can have a free-floating sign that you hang with hooks, anything you want to do inside. It's your option to do it, change it, whatever, and it doesn't make your sign van look too cluttered. Right. And the company name's not going to change. So it's like, that one's permanent. So it gives you more flexibility. Uh, you know, I was saying the same thing this morning and was was feeling that exactly what how you're expressing. And... Um, what convinced me that this was a great way to go is that there's so many really exciting things happening in the space, and how do you just make it super clear to people walking by or tourists coming into town of what, what's happening in here and what can we get? And so when that was described to me, it felt very convincing and sort of important to make that really, really clear on that on that sign signboard. But your comments are really, yeah, make a lot of sense as well. Is it possible that, um, would it be possible to have it approved understanding that the idea is that it's uh, made, with steel. made with steel and, um, you know, an iteration of what you're, what you're seeing here? I just think on an historic building, that it's more compatible with everything else in town to have the name of who you are here and then to describe what you do on the glass below. And again, you've got, you've got basically what's here, flowers and chocolate. And then on the glass, you can put either lettering describing what you're doing or pictures of what you're doing or Again, you can change that as you see where your business is taking. Right. And you don't want to come back here every time you change something up top. Right. No. <laughs> or remake the sign. <laughs> For that or matter. remake the sign. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Rabble Rouser will stay the same. Mm -hmm. What you do may inside may tweak, depending on where your business takes you or where your customers encourage you to go. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So in this process, is it, I think, is it possible to get an approval to a point and then they have to come back? Because I don't think that it's, from what I'm hearing, is 
the sign, the, the lettering or the, or the signage on the band um, isn't fully evolved yet. That band in the back, the sign backing, the natural wood backing. The, the cedar shingle, maybe the slat. Yeah, that's going to be a cedar backing, and then the and then the uh, the window and brick treatment. You know, mm -hmm. can we get to that level, and then these guys can work out their sign process? Sure, we could do that. Or yeah. is the is the size of the sign and lettering within the guidelines for the size of the building? I would have to double check. I think it has to be in the sign band. Okay. Yes. I think that's no the basic in the rules sign in band. the sign okay. band. And that is the existing sign band yep. size it's, that we're yes. just updating. And what was the size of the lettering? I didn't. Um, that's called out. I, I, I did a, a square footage analysis of the lettering itself. Um, that should be on the permit. I don't remember the sixteen. Sixteen. There are dimensions. There. It just shows the height of the sign. If you look, if you flip the wall sign, it, that has the dimension of the letter. And the sign area is below, so 16 square feet. Oh, okay. But does it have the height of the sign? Yes, it says two feet approximately. And, it, and I saw this, I saw it two feet here, but I wasn't sure if that, it just said wall sign, two feet height. But I wasn't sure if that was the lettering height or band. more band oh, height. Oh, that was the lettering height. The band okay. is, yes, much taller. Um. I mean, it seems to me that we probably should have a clearer cut sheet of what the signs are before we can make an approval. Just to be fair to all the other applicants that come through here with that level of information. But I do think we could move forward regarding whether about painting the building and it seems fairly solid that you're you want to change that sign band to that horizontal cedar board. Yes. And that seems like something that we could decide on. Do you feel have the information for that. So they have to do another whole application to come back for the sign um, itself? What I'm wondering is approving the sign as it was applied for, and then if they do decide to change to this next idea, then they come back. And then if they decide not to go with the new idea, they've got an approved sign. Okay. If they decide to change it, they come back. Does that seem? And then we, I forgot the date. Um, that was the permit. There was oh, the different. <laughs> this. Yeah, this, the sign. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Coming back. Um, you know, approve it as applied, yeah. and then yeah. if they change it, they would come back. We wouldn't want to bias like against us. The yeah, other thing I would encourage you to do is no, take. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> or against right. the new design. It wouldn't affect it. <laughs> I would also encourage you to take a look at Rabble Razor. Mm -hmm. uh, when, in the past, when signs were approved with 24 inch letters, there was a lot of issue with the size of the of the letters and the readability when you go from even across the street on the sidewalk, the readability of a 16 inch sign from that distance. There's a person who did a lot of sign design that I had worked with in the past myself and I shrunk my own sign in my pillar based on his said from distance, readability from distance. And your the readability has more to do as not just with size but with contrast. And I would encourage you to take a look at reducing that to 16 to 18 inches, based on everything else up and down the street. Cool Jewels got a huge amount of flack because of the size, <coughs> size of the letters there, and I believe those were 24 inch. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we were just talking back there. Excuse us for whispering. Uh, no, that's okay. The, uh, the, uh, about actually printing out and putting them up in paper, you know, and then mm -hmm. and then they can walk around and really see what they're doing. Because I, I think that this hasn't evolved. So. And again, if if you had explored that, there's a distance, a size size of lettering, contrast, and a distance that makes it readable and balanced. 
and some of the and I'm not sure who you're using for the sign. Who's who you're proposing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, he, it's all metal. Last I knew. Okay. Then we were. Uh, <laughs> right. We're yeah, getting we're a, a quote on that design with that material that yeah. I'm taking there. It's an evolving. And again, you want the design to be readable, but also balanced within the band and the building. Yeah. The other thing is that only the, I guess, the taller, but, but most of the letters are actually <coughs> the lowercase or, yes. or smaller. In that. But again, this is something that is, um, it's evolving and blinding. So what we can do is approve it as proposed, and then you have the option to make the lettering smaller and any significant change, you know, you have to come back, but otherwise it can approve the, the sign band, the brick color, the and then the... That sounds great. The, yeah. That is proposed, and again, you have to come back if you wanted to change that. That's super That's fair. Yeah. Great. Are the, the planters removable? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All, of, all of that exterior is removable, and I think it, it, it would be removed when the snow plow is coming. Okay. Yeah, that would, that's a public yeah. works requirement, yeah. that all of that stuff. Um, I have a response from them sitting on my desk. Okay. By the way, when you build those planters, if you, if in building the planter, if you give it a little bit of an overhang above a, a base, you can make the base out of a, like a pressure treated material, so that you know the water and all the stuff on the sidewalk's not going to rot it out for you, mm -hmm. and then raise it up and give it a little lip like a toe kick under a cabinet. Mm -hmm. And the other nice thing about that is, is you can come out with a, a block and a lever, and jack it up, slide a dolly underneath, yeah. and then roll it away. It's very easy to do that. <laughs> I just think about the you know how easy or hard it is to move stuff like that. Yeah. Planters are not light. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Planters are light, it's the dirt that's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> hard to have one without the dirt. <laughs> just Depending on the size of the root balls. <laughs> Great. Okay, so what we can do is also give you an option to make the lettering smaller than proposed okay. if in working out with your samples. Great. So that we only come back if we change what the lettering says, but if we do the same lettering or smaller. Same lettering that's proposed here. And again, okay. the other stuff you can put inside the glass, okay. which is still readable to people walking along or, again, depending on the size of it, uh, even 10 to 12 inches is readable from the opposite side of the street very easily. Great. And again, you can change that and you can move it around. Right. It gives you more flexibility. So, but we're ignoring seven in this that has a, a different uh, scheme that we're talking about approving. That's more to show around the wall. Right, that's what's that. Yeah, this is the... Right. And it may be another piece of paper. Yeah, there may be something else coming. Like I as far as this application, this... I thought about this a lot, and I'm fairly love... Like, I'm kind of married to that, the with the words. And so I anticipate coming back. But I'm hearing you, and I want to think it through more, and we want to do some, like, things that we can look at with paper and so forth. But, um... Teaser. It's just if you put in the, the sign band and all of a sudden you realize that people aren't coming in for one of the products you're I advertising. You. No, I know, but that's a and business. now you're going to take that yeah. down and now your balance is thrown off. I hear you, but that's, you know, that's a business sort of direction that I think, you know, if we're willing to take that on, I understand the risks of it. So understand one of the criteria is compatibility with other project other properties of the district. Yeah. Yeah, and that one. And again, we I have to look at all the criteria. Absolutely. Um, and that's now what I think that concerns me more is where you're saying the character of the town is such that that may not fit. Well, I don't no, think I have a sign. Something. Rec form. Okay. That had, that had been urged to me. 
if that would take that would bear further invest, you know, just thought for sure. And I'm gonna run down and get one. One seen. quick question on the side here where there's black paint. Is that just a black paint line? Or is there some kind of demark or trim board or a drip edge or something um, that defines that? Going around the alley. A oh, printing what? anomaly, maybe? Or what? Uh, it's contemplated just, a, just to be. Just to paint. Just to paint. Oh, 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 you're saying at the On, the, the, on the side, right there. Down the, on the alley. side Down, there. Yeah, no, that's just going to be. Just a paint line. Just yeah, just off. a paint line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pick Not, a grout line that maybe is straight. Right. right. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe. Or do a string and we'll get it. We'll, we'll figure out what's going to look the best. It's actually interesting because it may like cross a couple courses of bricks. Um, that was my only thinking. If if it's a you know if, if you've got yeah. brick and it's somewhat deteriorated or you've got a, a wavy grout line, yeah. you know, one thing you might want to do would be to use an adhesive and just put a trim strip along there, you know, even a three, four inch trim strip along there, caulk behind it, combination of caulk adhesive, mount Set it, level the and then, the and, then and, and then caulk it really well. Give yourself a good line. Put a little bit, of, instead of a flat top, put a bevel on the top so it drains off. Mm -hmm. And then you can use there's a uh, material if you want to do it with wood or something similar to wood. Uh, there's a material now they carry it at Allen Lumber called Windsor One. Windsor One. Windsor One. And it's a great product. It's impregnated. It is wood, but it's impregnated and it has a 30 year warranty on it. Wow. We used to use like either Azac or or something like that, but that stuff's hard to work with and it's a little more fragile. This is really wood, but it's impregnated. Yeah. So it's got a great warranty and it lasts really well. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, that's good. That's a good, good point. Good Thank you. Out. Yeah, because we do need something. I, and I don't think anyone's really put a string up to make sure that we can get a good string. Yeah. As contemplated. It just looks sharper. I mean, yeah. you, you've got, you know. It did run along the grout line, so. It could be when I was, you know, yeah. doing it. it could be straight. Yeah. It's possible. But the drip, <laughs> getting the water off that when yeah. talking to different uh, people about it, that's a really it's like a helpful noise. thing. Yeah, absolutely. And again, just a slight bevel, mm -hmm. five ten degree bevel on it, so any it acts like a water table. So anything yeah. comes down, it just sheds off, drains off, and dries out. Make sure the sign. That will be for the seating. And so in the back and the, do you want to do paint and seating on one the, or separate? Not the, uh, d this would be f for seating, paint, we can do all of that okay. on, in yep. one. Okay. a Tom question. I think it's a right of way, but I don't think it's, it's a, a public street. It's a it's a permanent easement with. Um, I looked it up. Oh, okay. It was a. I think it's a it's a permanent easement with a public access, which is what. Yeah, I don't think it matters though. You know, for signage. So could it? 
if we can do that, there are we, there actually are some we, iterations. Yes, we because it's a great idea. We we would love that. If that seems like a good place. Just I'm I don't know the rules, but it seems like a good place for us to head it down the alley a little bit, so that as you're driving down Main Street towards Shaw's, there's like a fair amount of building that's there that you can see. Mm -hmm. You know that historically a shopkeeper certainly would have put a sign Of course, yeah. with all their the painting. wares. Like Capitol Station House. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Right. I thought, somehow I thought that was slightly different based on historic something. It was, it was yeah. already there. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was on the, the rules. that was on the side of the wall from the like twenties or something when they first opened. That was considered to be an historic. Right. I mean, that's big, and so that's a different thing. Yeah, have adding, that. adding. Signing the other thing, if you're if frontage. you if you're worried about painting, you know, stuff on the side, if you're worried about graffiti, that may not be. It would be up higher. Yeah. You know. More keep them on the side. Either that, or if you put a trim board up top, you could mount something beneath that that's re removable, mm -hmm. removable, changeable. Right. Yeah. Is that is that something that could be, you know, a repeat of the front sign, but a painted version added to the side? Is that something we could? Let's look at the sign area in the district and some of the, the rules. Okay. Because you're you're somewhat limited in the amount of uh, square footage you have based on the frontage of the building, so you know you don't okay. want to ex exceed that. Right, right, right. And again, I mean, if you're, I mean, whether you're walking or if you're walking either on the sidewalk or on on that side or the other side of the street, uh, you're probably. I mean, that's so readable from across the street. I'm not sure what you would, what you would gain on the side of the building. It's more about it streetscape and intrigue, mm -hmm. you know, just putting a little flavor out it's there. Vibrant. Yeah. So. We can come back. We'll, we'll go you, back. We'll, yeah. You could come back to do that when you, if you come back with any changes to the sign we're approving tonight. Great. So firstly, we'll, there's, the, there's two separate criteria, one for the sign and then one for everything other than the sign. So we'll start with that one. Did anybody have any other suggestions? We did say a horizontal trim board could be installed on the alley side brick wall at the top of the proposed black painted area to delineate the brick above and the painted brick area below. And again, that's just to give you a, a little sharper sure. delineation yeah. line. That's a great idea. And the evaluation criteria for that part is preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district it involves an historic structure. Acceptable, by the way, is the black a a flat black or a satin color? It's going to be relatively flat. Yeah, it'll, it'll have to have some gloss to of. have durability. But um, like a satin, somewhere, but you gloss, semi-gloss, satin, and flat. Right. But Something. flat is not very washable. Right. Right. So a satin Maybe color. Satin. Yeah. Is that okay. what you would recommend? I would think that would probably be the best in terms of appearance and upkeep. The delineation <laughs> board, do you want to say anything about it being screwed into brick versus? Yes, when you mount the board, you can use an adhesive, but any mounting should be into the mortar joints as opposed to the brick, because you don't want to fracture the brick any worse than it may already be.
peeing on the door. Oh, no. <laughs> you oh, wait out front for a door. second to give somebody oh, something, and then it was blocked, and I've been, like, banging. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I had to walk around. Oh, <laughs> the back door is left open, but the, not the front. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't. I was like, I should stop knocking. They really must be getting annoyed. And then I'm like, oh, and I put my phone No, if they heard me, they'd come to the door. Wait, did it text me? <laughs> no, I didn't have my phone. I, and I, I yeah. put it on airplane mode. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. Excuse me for interfering. That's <laughs> no, okay. Shut up. Number two, harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. Acceptable. Three, compatibility of pro proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable. Four, compatibility of proposed landscaping, acceptable with the planters. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no change in lighting or other yeah. than what's there, okay. Well, so. we might backlight. The letters might be lit. The metal panel. So that... Well, None of this application. That's right. Not this application. Yep. That's true. Recognition of and respect our view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Acceptable. Mm -hmm. All in favor of this application, raise your hand. <laughs> For this application, I'll have one of you sign that one in the lower left above my name. You're the applicant, girl. Do it. <laughs> And for the sign itself, as proposed, is everybody is everybody comfortable with a 24-inch lettering, or would you suggest reducing the size of that? And the majority is probably around 18, 17, the lowercase, just so. Right. Well, the... The R, the two R's, the 24-inch letters. Well, the right. the two R's and then the legs on the B's and the L. The legs, right. Um, yeah, I'm not opposed to the 24 if that's their choice and it fits within the sign band. I think that we've given... How, yeah, how high is the sign band, do you know? I think it's 38. 38? 48. I, I'm sorry, I don't, I, the answer is I don't know. Yeah, I don't have that it's, exact it's dimension. Big. It's big. I mean, it's... And currently, the letters take up, I believe, even more space than what's there. The one more time are really, they, I think they really go almost to the top. Yeah, the they're, to they're using almost the entire sign there. And that, that sign had a lot of contention yeah. <laughs> when it was... It wasn't approved unanimously. <laughs> uh, this will be a major improvement to what's there. <laughs> It'll be nice not to see a shoe up there. <laughs> Change is oh. oh. <laughs> You haven't changed, have you? <laughs> Is there a question mark right yes. now? Yeah. Yes. One more time. <laughs> I think that that was installed afterwards as a... Uh, Many years after it was closed. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Really? Yeah, that, really? That was a gorilla. That was maybe even last year. No kidding. Yeah, oh, wow. And so many people never noticed the change. Oh, how yeah. funny. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it was vacant six, seven, how many years? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, it, it was it was in operation when I first moved here, which was I think over seven years ago. Yeah. But then, yeah. and so maybe only a year, year and a half ago, that question mark popped up. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Somebody thought it would be funny to screw it on there. That's so funny. Wow. It's funny. It's funnier now that you realize it wasn't always. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So what we did was we just give you the option as you do your final design for for this approval that you can reduce it to whatever you want if you feel when you do a mock up and put it up there yeah, yeah. and think wait a minute we maybe we'll get better balance right. and still read a readable from the and distance we'll, you're looking for we'll take that so we just and do some give that as an option great and again you the most readable signs are the ones with the most contrast. Mm -hmm. So you're getting some contrast here. Will the cedar just have a clear finish on it? We're talking about that, but we um, we might let it go to sort of a silver, just let it be natural. Just because, put, you know, keeping up that kind of finish behind this letters, it's, it's gonna be a lot of maintenance. And so the idea is that it'll go, it'll be natural. Very natural. Either that or you can take a cedar and you can, if you want a natural, the other thing you can do without doing a lot of maintenance other than just wiping it down every few years is to use a tongue oil. Yeah. Yeah. And then nothing's going to ever chip or peel. It's just a matter of, you know, right, getting on the ladder and wiping it down yeah, with tongue oil. Idea. Again, that's just another option. It's right. not a requirement. Other comments, questions, suggestions? Okay. The criteria for this one. 1A, preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable. Number two, harmony or exterior design with other property and, and properties in the district. These are some of the criteria that is why I was referring to. Yeah, yeah. Um, C, compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable as proposed. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, not for the sign. That was on the separate application, so it's not applicable with the sign. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. This sign is acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. Again, there's no change in the lighting that's there. So no change, so that's not applicable here. Recognition of and respect to our view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure some significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs, not applicable here. Illumination internally lit. Plastic signs are prohibited, not applicable here. Pennants and, pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged, acceptable. All in favor of the application, raise your hand. And again, I'll have one of you sign this below my name or above my name on the left-hand side there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we keep everything in the town looking good. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> well, that's just that's just the beginning of your project. That's all. the The work comes now. <laughs> well, thanks thank you. a lot, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so okay. Much for your time and for the work you do. Absolutely. Thank you for tackling a good project, all of you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> come in for chocolate. Yeah, I do come in for chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take care. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Nice and goodbye. As far as the minutes go, July the 8th, we can't approve it because not enough people are here who were there. 
These are DRB minutes. And then with the other one, <laughs> there's the DRB minutes. So we can't we approve, can't approve those. those either. We can't. Sorry, we can't no accommodate No worries. You I'll there. just take them up back. I wonder. <laughs> that's pretty weird. Um, I'll take this one too because we'll reuse that. Okay. So I'll take your both of your sets of minutes. Awesome. <laughs> Any other business? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. All second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. All right. Meeting is adjourned.